Fitness is bullshit. Fitness, the way it's presented to the world, is objectifying, mindless, and it has really nothing to do with moving anything but your ego. <laughs> and all of a sudden, people like yourself think that the concept of being fit or in shape is having a rockin' body or being able to lift a lot of weight or run really fast. It has nothing to do with that. When I was a kid, I was very scared of everything. And uh, my mom enrolled me in gymnastics. So I went to my first meet, and my mom was sitting in the stands. She was so worried that I wouldn't step onto the floor, that I would just break down and cry or run away. Fortunately, I stepped onto the floor. And what my mom witnessed was a kid that she barely recognized. It was this empowered, motivated, unscared kid that was just out doing his thing. That transformation, that switch that happens where you step into yourself is where I find drive. And that's where it all started. I would go to bed early just to be able to close my eyes and think about the Olympics. And I thought about the whole thing, my routines, the music, the crowd, standing on the podium, getting the medal, getting the flowers, the pictures, the whole thing. When that did not become a reality, I was, of course, devastated. And then I thought, what if I had stood on the podium and as soon as I stepped down, the stadium was empty. I had no family, no friends, no one to share that victory with. That victory would mean absolutely nothing. The moment you have a victory, what makes that victory relevant is the moment you share that victory with people that you care about. Carl and I are completely different people and it was really unclear to me for many years why we were together because on the surface, so different, have zero shared interests. But what's been really interesting to experience is in our later years, see that we have the same morals, the same values, the same ways we see the world and it's been really special to kind of grow up and grow into that together. Because I am fast, 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 go, 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 make it happen. And she is a slow, steady pace. It's probably been the best thing that's ever happened to me. She has really opened my eyes to seeing the world and people especially in a different light, simply by slowing down. So it was in 2007 that I decided to go into business on my own. So I simply became a student of the game. And the game that I was in was the fitness game. And I knew that what I was bringing to the table was uh, my ability to move as a gymnast that stood out from the crowd. So I knew I had an edge. So when I reached a certain point, of the growth, I, I realized that I was just unhappy. That no matter how many views my videos would get or how much money was coming in uh, monthly or how many people would come to my seminar, it was just a constant feeling of void and emptiness. The way that I was portrayed had nothing to do with the reality that I was living. So I decided, done, I'm moving on. And it went down, and it went down really fast. I have both of them, Kyrie and Mushi. But it was in August of 2014 that Tanya and I became foster parents. We had fallen in love with this beautiful girl, 
and we were simply proud to be a part of her life. And she became the biggest mirror that's ever been put up <laughs> in front of us. It really brought out this thing that I believe is the essence of being human, which is compassion. And as soon as I was able to exercise compassion, I could start exercising some compassion with myself. And I started finding that I was able to bring something to the table uh, outside of my field of fitness. In my life, I've been brought down a lot. So it was hard to like bring me up because I saw myself as what everyone else said I was, which wasn't always nice. But I mean, I always knew like I was going to be okay. But I didn't know that I was gonna like really like feel the way I feel about myself that I do. Like I love myself. I didn't love myself. They told me like they told me like things like that stuck in my head. Like you're pretty, you're beautiful, you matter, like you're important, and things like that. And then you you you're told them those things so much that you just start believing them. I used to not be able to take compliments, <laughs> though. So you remember? Yeah, I know. There's so much. I love oh you, too. not <laughs> just came out my nose. <laughs> we need to define fitness. But the word fit simply means, are you capable of? It has everything to do with your ability to be. And that's the beauty of being fit. Are you fit to learn? Are you fit to teach? Moving is both of those. It's teaching and learning. And it's really living in the paradox. And it's your unique expression of being as present as you can in every single moment that really defines fitness.